Hello students and welcome back to the AMP English YouTube page and the AMP English web page. Hope you're having a great week so far. Today we will be doing another essay lesson. This will be essay lesson number two. Number two. So, I won't waste any time getting into this lesson. Let's get started. As a child, Brad Pitt was always friends with David Beckham. As a child, Brad Pitt was always friends with David Beckham. So, were Brad Pitt and David Beckham always friends? Yes, yes, great job! Brad Pitt and David Beckham were always friends. Did they become friends as children, or did they become friends as adults? They became friends as children. They became friends as children when they were very young. Was Brad Pitt always friends with David Beckham, or never friends with David Beckham? Brad Pitt was always friends with David Beckham. Good, good job! Let's continue. Both Brad Pitt and David Beckham were two peas in a pod. Oh, both Brad Pitt and David Beckham were two peas in a pod. Now, if you remember, two peas in a pod was one of our idiom lessons. And this means that they show similar characteristics and are just like best friends. They get along very, very well because they are very much alike. Brad Pitt is handsome. David Beckham is handsome. Brad Pitt is rich. David Beckham is rich. Brad Pitt is a great actor. David Beckham is a great athlete. So they get along very well because they are very similar. They are two peas in a pod. So, are Brad Pitt and David Beckham very different? No, no, they share similar qualities. They have similar characteristics. They have similar hobbies. Is Brad Pitt like David Beckham or not like David Beckham? He's like David Beckham. He's similar. He's very similar to David Beckham. Are Brad Pitt and David Beckham two peas in a pod? Yes, yes, they are two peas in a pod. They get along very well, they're very similar, and they really like hanging out with each other. They're very good friends. Let's continue. They loved soccer, acting, chocolate, and pretty girls. Oh! They loved soccer, acting, chocolate, and pretty girls. So, did David Beckham and Brad Pitt love baseball, going sailing, and dogs? No, no, they loved soccer, acting, chocolate, and pretty girls. Good, good. Did David Beckham and Brad Pitt like pretty girls, or did they like cheeseburgers? Their friendship was one of the strongest the world had ever seen. So their friendship was one of the strongest, one of the most powerful friendships the world had ever seen. Was their friendship very weak? No, no, it was very strong. It was powerful. It was one of the strongest the world had ever seen. Was their friendship one of the strongest the world had ever seen, or one of the weakest the world had ever seen? Again, it was one of the strongest, one of the strongest the world had ever seen. Good job, good job. Let's continue. Some would say their friendship was exemplary. Some would say their friendship was exemplary. 
So what this mean exemplary was one of our past words. What this means is it was a perfect role model. It was a perfect relationship to copy. It was a great example for them or for other friendships to copy or try to be like. So it was exemplary. So some would say their friendship, David Beckham and Brad Pitt's friendship was exemplary. It was a great one to be like. Everyone looked at it and said, I want my friendship to be like that. So would some say Brad Pitt and David Beckham's friendship was very bad, that they were very mean to each other? No, no, some would say their friendship was exemplary. It was a perfect example. It was a great friendship that others want to be like. Good. So remember, exemplary means something that you see and you want to be like. It's a role model. So if another example would be if someone has exemplary English. That means they have great English skills. They have really great English skills that people should want to have in the future. People should want to be like. This is what that means. Let's continue. Then... One day, David Beckham deceived Brad Pitt. Oh. Then one day, David Beckham deceived Brad Pitt. He deceived Brad Pitt. He tricked him. He lied to him. So deceive means to make someone believe something that isn't true. So David Beckham deceived Brad Pitt. He did something very bad to Brad Pitt. He deceived him. He tricked him. He told him something that wasn't true. He did something that was wrong to Brad Pitt. So, did David Beckham help Brad Pitt mow his lawn? Cut the grass? No, no. What did David Beckham do? He deceived Brad Pitt. He lied to him. He did something bad to Brad. He went against their friendship. Good. Let's continue. In 2005, the year 2005, David Beckham stole, stole Brad Pitt's authentic Michael Jordan jersey. So in 2005, David Beckham stole, he took, Brad Pitt's authentic Michael Jordan jersey. Oh, that's not good. So David Beckham stole Brad Pitt's Michael Jordan jersey. But not only was it a Michael Jordan jersey, it was authentic. It was the original jersey Michael Jordan wore. It was a real jersey that Michael Jordan wore. So Michael Jordan wore this in games. It was authentic. It was genuine or real, or it was a cre it was credible. This is what authentic means. In this case, it means it is a real jersey. It was the actual jersey Michael Jordan, the famous basketball player, wore. So did Brad Pitt steal David Beckham's authentic Michael Jordan jersey? No, no, David Beckham stole Brad Pitt's authentic Michael Jordan jersey. Did David Beckham steal a fake Michael Jordan jersey? No, David Beckham stole a real Michael Jordan jersey, an authentic, original Michael Jordan jersey. The original, authentic jersey is worth lots and lots and lots of money. And Brad Pitt was given this jersey by Michael Jordan. So it's worth a lot of money. Did David Beckham give Brad Pitt an authentic Michael Jordan jersey? No, he deceived Brad Pitt. He stole. He took the jersey from Brad Pitt. Good. Let's continue and find out what happens. Brad Pitt was very angry and did not talk to David for 11 years, 11 years, that's a long time. 
So Brad Pitt was very angry and did not talk to David Beckham for 11 years. Then, one day, David Beckham saw Brad Pitt ascending the stairs at the Statue of Liberty with his family. So then, one day, David Beckham saw Brad Pitt ascending, going up the stairs at the Statue of Liberty with his family. The Stat Statue of Liberty is the big, tall statue in New York. But it's all green. So, did David Beckham see Will Smith ascending the stairs at the Statue of Liberty with his family? No, no, David Beckham saw Brad Pitt ascending the stairs at the Statue of Liberty with his family. Did David Beckham see Brad Pitt going up the stairs at the Statue of Liberty or going down the stairs at the Statue of Liberty? He saw Brad Pitt going up the stairs. Brad Pitt was ascending the stairs. He was climbing up the stairs. Ascending is one of our vocabulary words, and it means to go up or climb up, to ascend something. So you can ascend in a hot air balloon. You can go up and up and up and up. Or you can ascend a mountain. You can climb up a mountain. So Brad Pitt was ascending the stairs. He was going up the stairs at the Statue of Liberty with his family. Was Brad Pitt ascending the stairs with his best friend or with his family? He was ascending the stairs at the Statue of Liberty with his family. Brad Pitt was with Angelina Jolie and all his little kids. Let's continue. You're doing great. Let's continue. Let's find out what happens to David Beckham and Brad Pitt's friendship. David Beckham ran up to Brad Pitt and apologized eloquently. So David Beckham ran up. He ran over to Brad Pitt. He also ascended the stairs up to Brad Pitt and apologized. He said, sorry for stealing your jersey. And he apologized eloquently. Eloquently is one of our vocabulary words. Eloquently means what? It means to be very fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing. So in this case, David Beckham was very clear in expressing how sorry he was. He was very fluent and persuasive about how sorry he was. David Beckham was like, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I love you, Brad Pitt. Be my friend again. I'm so sorry. He was very eloquent. He was persuasive in speaking. And he was very clear. He was very clear. Good. So did David Beckham run up to Brad Pitt and say, I hate you? Did he say, I hate you, Brad Pitt? No, no, David Beckham ran up to Brad Pitt and apologized eloquently. He apologized in a clear way and was very persuasive. Good. Let's continue. We're almost done. We're almost done. Brad Pitt believed David Beckham after the apology. So Brad Pitt believed that David Beckham was being honest when he apologized. He, he meant his apology. But changed his mind after David Beckham continued to leave messages on Brad's phone, apologizing for stealing the jersey. So Brad Pitt believed David Beckham at first. He believed him after the apology. But Brad Pitt changed his mind after David Beckham just kept calling, he continued, he kept calling and leaving messages on Brad Pitt's phone, saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Brad Pitt started to not believe him because David Beckham was doing it so much. It started to get annoying or irritating. So did Brad Pitt not believe David Beckham at first, right after the apology? No, Brad Pitt believed David Beckham. He thought he was being honest. 
Did Brad Pitt change his mind about the apology after David Beckham left lots of messages? Yes, Brad Pitt changed his mind. He thought, he's apologizing too much. This is annoying. This is irritating. This is weird. So did David only apologize once, or did he continue to leave messages on Brad Pitt's phone apologizing for stealing the jersey? David Beckham kept calling and apologizing. He kept leaving messages saying, I'm so sorry I stole your Michael Jordan jersey. I'm so sorry I stole your authentic Michael Jordan jersey. And he kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And Brad Pitt thought, this is annoying. This is weird. After apologizing over 210,000 458 times in one week. That's a lot of apologies. So after apologizing over 210,458 times in one week, Brad found David's apologies a bit trite. So after David Beckham apologized, almost 200,000 times, over 200,000 times in one week, Brad thought to himself, or he found that David Beckham's apologies were trite. And trite is was our vocabulary word. Trite means to be not original or fresh, to be overused. So it's overused and has little impact after it's used so many times. So what this means is that Brad has heard so, uh, heard David Beckham apologize so many times that it's trite. It doesn't really have any meaning behind it anymore. Brad Pitt doesn't really believe that David is sorry anymore. So did David Beckham apologize only two times in one week? Or did he apologize 210,458 times? He apologized 210,458 times. That's a lot of apologies. Did Brad Pitt think David's apologies were honest, or did he think that they were kind of unoriginal and overused and fake? Brad Pitt found that David Beckham, uh, Beckham's apologies are a bit trite. He's heard them so many times that they're overused and have no meaning. Good. Let's continue. Last sentence. David is still sad that they are not friends anymore and calls Brad Pitt every week. So is David happy that they are not friends? anymore, or is he sad that they are not friends anymore? David is sad that they are not friends anymore. Good. He's sad. Oh, I want Brad Pitt to be my friend again. Does David Beckham call Brad Pitt every two years or once a week? He calls Brad Pitt once a week, and Brad just thinks this is annoying. I don't want to talk to David Beckham ever again. Good. That is it for this week's lesson, this week's essay, using all of the TOEFL vocabulary, all the university-level vocabulary. You did a great job. Remember, if you didn't understand a part of this essay, go back and listen to it again. Go back and listen and listen and listen and get practice from listening. Use the circling technique. That's where I'm asking you questions and you answer me. And use the shadowing technique. Copy what I say. So when I'm speaking, try to speak right after I say it. So if I say, as a child, Brad Pitt was always friends with David Beckham, you try to say that as fast as you can right after I say it. That is the shadowing technique. You did a great job this week. I will see you guys next time. Remember to keep watching YouTube videos, and I will let you know through Periscope and online when the AMP English course is finally finished. We are almost done. So, 
I love you guys. Take care and stay amped for learning English. Bye-bye.